back in Montana, whenever I put my new wheels and tires on, it's been sitting here for about three weeks. I need to check the air pressure. What do you think? Uh, it looks full. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Right where I left it. Good. Yeah. It's kind of weird seeing that they're all still filled up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did good. Yes. Check this out. It's just for grins. <clears throat> Drum roll, please. Right where I left it. 14 pounds. Oh, that's sweet. Well, I'm out here putting insulation on the ceiling in the shed on the hottest day of the year. Whew. Whose idea was this anyway? <laughs> Yours. We've been trying to get some projects done while back in Montana, but July is full of family birthdays, so it's time to travel back to Spokane for a few weeks. That's what I'm longing for When times are 
On the road again, crossing the Clark Fork River. And I'll show you. It's so pretty. The river's looking good. It is. It is. So, fun fact. <laughs> how many times does I-90 cross the Clark Fork River? Hmm. So, the Clark Fork River is one of the major rivers in uh, western Montana. And we cross it a lot. Yes. And it's so pretty. It is. It's just beautiful. But so, how many times do you think it crosses? So, put a comment down below. I'll tell you at the end. But <laughs> So, we're going back to Spokane. July is very busy birthday month. We have our daughter and her daughter, our granddaughter Ainsley, and her husband. Her husband and my birthday, which are on the same day. My son-in-law's and mine are on the same day. Um our niece, who else? Our other son-in-law is in July, but he's in Texas. Yep. So we have quite a few July birthdays. Yep, so July is birthday month for us. And it's so nice because we're so convenient from our place in Montana. It's just a, a short drive over to Spokane. In a car, it's probably two, a little over two hours, almost two and a half. Towing the rig, it's closer to three hours from door to door yeah. to where we stay on the west side of Spokane. So we enjoy going over and hanging out with family. And this drive just never disappoints us. It's beautiful. It's stunning the whole way. We got some projects done while we were at uh, Shy Rock and our friends there. We hung out with them and there was a Shy Rock 4th of July cookout. Yes. And uh, I think everybody had a great time. Yeah, I think so too. We had to pack up yesterday. So we got to, at least we got to go for about an hour and see everybody. And, and yeah. there was a great turnout. It was. A lot, of, a lot of good people. Yeah, so many nice people. Well, crossing the Clark Fork. Crossing the Clark Fork there again. There it is. This is what we get to look at every time. So it makes the two and a half, three hour drive very fast because there's, it's just stunning. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful drive. And the weather's good. It's supposed to be warm. What'd you say, 80? It's supposed to be, in Spokane, it's gonna be 89. Oh, that's pretty warm. Yes. We're having a little heat wave right now. But we mooch dock at our friend's house on the west side of Spokane, up on the, up on the, West Plains. They've got a ranch there and a uh, roping arena and we get to hang out there next to the roping arena. Yeah. Give us a, access to town and our family. Close to parents and everything. It's just a great access point for us. Yeah, so that's why, that's one of the reasons we stay up here is we've got family there in Spokane and we get to, a chance to, to visit with them. I've got some projects for my mom and dad again. Yep. While we're there, and our son's going to come over and give us a hand, and but we need to talk about our sponsor, Brooklyn Bedding, RVMattress.com. Yeah, you know they're they're a manu they're a mattress manufacturer located in Phoenix, Arizona. They have many, many, many styles of mattresses and many sizes of mattresses. Yes. And even our special RV sizes, you know, you, you get into the RV King, you get into the RV Queen, you get into the Short King, you get into the California King. I mean, they've got, they've got whatever size you need, including bunks, mattresses for the bunks in your RV as well. So they've got just a, a lot of different options available. And we've got their Aurora Lux model and we've been sleeping on it now for over a year and have just been absolutely thrilled with it it's been wonderful yes and you know if, if you sleep well i mean life is a lot better we'd always slept on a firm mattress and that's what we thought we wanted was a was a firm but we looked at their firmness chart that they have and based on our body weight and sleep patterns 
it suggested that we go with a medium size or a medium firmness. And, and I and I tell you, when we brought that in and sat on it, it made me nervous. Yeah. Because it was soft, and we were used to almost hard as a brick. Yeah. Mattress. But we've been on this now for over a year, and we followed their their guidelines on their chart, and have been very very happy with it. They put it, they shrink wrap it at the factory, and put it in a box and ship it to you for free. And then you you bring your mattress into your RV and you unwrap the shrink wrap and when you cut it away it balloons out into shape and you're actually sleeping on your mattress that night we've had a number of people ask us you know how long do you have to let it set before yeah. it's it's sleepable and, and it's ready to go that night yes they have a hundred and twenty night sleep trial and then they have a 10-year warranty i mean that's big right there and free shipping they ship it to your right to your door for free so uh, we've just been extremely happy with Brooklyn bedding and as we said they've been a sponsor to this channel now for about a year and we've partnered with them as a sponsor to give you a discount so if you go to rvmattress.com slash sweet travels and enter the code sweet travels they're going to give you 25% off of your mattress at rvmattress.com. So we highly recommend them. As we said, we've been on our mattress now for over a year and have just been super, super happy with it. And yeah. uh, we encourage you, if you're looking for a new mattress, we encourage you to, to give it a try. Yeah. So thanks, Brooklyn Bedding, for sponsoring this channel. And uh, we're going to continue to drive here and see what we've got. All right. The 50,000 silver dollar bar is uh, right on I-90. And somebody said, hey, you should go in and take a look at that and show everybody what it's like. So here we are. Let's go in and see what they got. How you doing, cowboy? <laughs> so what do you think? Are you having a good day today? <laughs> it's nice talking with you. You're so quiet. I don't understand. Strong, silent type, I bet, right? Now it's a 50,000 silver dollar bar. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Oh, there's the total right up there. 83,774 Lincoln silver dollars. So it's not 50,000, it's over 80,000. <laughs> Every kind of Montana knickknack you'd ever want. Oh my gosh, we used to come here and get our son belts for school. Nice little restaurant, little cafe, belts. Everything you can think of. What'd you say? 
I said it's still the same. It hasn't just, changed. Yeah, they just don't sell those belts anymore. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a fun little stop. Lots of souvenirs. There is a um, what they call an RV park back here, and they've got I don't know half a dozen 50 amp hookups. If you get there soon enough. <laughs> No water, no uh, no sewer, but it's a great place for an overnight, and it's uh, it's free. So don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's our secret. <laughs> there you go. Is a tip for you if you're on I-90 in western Montana, near Haugen, Montana, you can uh, boondock at the Lincoln Silver Dollar Bar. Kind of a fun little stop. Yeah, we've been there, we've done that. Restaurant's okay, we ate there before. Yep. Good food. Yep. Okay, back on the road. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. What did you think of the drive? It was so pretty. That drive's beautiful. Oh, we love that drive. We do. And by the way, how many times does the I-90 cross the Clark Fork? 17 times. 17 times. It's a lot. Yeah. So what'd you guys think of uh, the Silver Dollar Bar? It's, unfortunately the lighting wasn't very good in there and so, but it's a kind of a neat place. It is. You gotta at least see it once. It's it's pretty fun. Lots of Montana souvenirs and trinkets and oh my great gosh. little cafe, but 80, over 84,000 Lincoln Silver Dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, they, They're everywhere. They uh, they uh, shellac them into the bar and then up in the, the upper Yeah, and if you plates. donate one, they put your name on it, which I never knew before, so that was pretty cool. That's a lot of money to donate, just to have your name put on it. 
How much do you think those I don't know. dollars are? I don't know. Anyway, it's a fun little stop, and, and we, we hope you enjoyed it. So we've got birthdays. We've got uh, family projects. My mom and dad still live here in Spokane, and, and they've got some projects that they want me to help them on. They're having issues with their air conditioning in their home, and it's hot. Oh, my yes. It's hot. Yes. So we've got to go figure out what's going on with their AC unit uh, in their house. And then they've got some painters that came over and didn't do a very good job. And so they want us to talk to the painters for them and uh, try to get that squared away. So anyway, that's one of the things that we love about this lifestyle. It allows us to see family, get things done. So this is going to be a short trip here in Spokane uh, to, for birthdays, parties, and helping my mom and dad out. And then... Uh, we're going to shoot back to Montana. We've got a couple of rides we want to take while we're there in Montana. We've got, a, we've got to put some new tires on our fifth wheel. This is the year of the tires. Yep, and, but I will tell you that I'm really, really happy with the wheels and tires from the Can-Am. They've been on there now for six, seven weeks. Haven't lost a pound of pressure. No, they're, they're It's perfect. been awesome. And Can-Ams are known for tire leakage, by the way, on their rims. So I haven't lost any air whatsoever that's awesome so anyway we're we're gonna pick up the can-am we're gonna take a trip up to some friends of ours uh, up north of us uh, from Montana up in the Libby area they purchased some land up there and started developing it last year got part of it done they've done some more this year we're kind of anxious to go up and see what that's like up there near Libby so we got a lot of things going on and uh, that's the beauty about this lifestyle is we get to change our backyard Whenever we want. And whenever we want. We're going to wrap this one up and just all remember. It all starts with an idea. Turn those ideas into reality and make some memories. We'll talk to you next week. Love you. Bye-bye.